Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for pressing play to this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. So excited to film another video. Um, today I'm gonna try to make it really short. Let's see how that goes and talk to you about something that happened uh, about three weeks ago and I've had the time to process it and really see it through a biblical perspective. So this is why I decided to share it with you because I'm sure that a lot of good things can come out of this. Um, so let's start with a short prayer. Um, Father God, I thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for all the people that you are about to touch through this video. I thank you because because you love us thank you for your love for us and i pray that your holy spirit may guide me while i'm recording this video so that um, you know i can share everything that you want me to share so let's get right into um this video guys so uh, as you know um as you know i am um getting married um in like a month now and you know when you're about to get married there are a lot of things that you need to take care of like a lot of paperwork um and stuff like you know there's there are some medical exams you know, a lot of like legal things paperwork that you need to get done and uh, my fiance and i had so many trials during um this season it's like it's really like something was trying to very like discourage us of you know make us so tired that we would be like oh you know what let's just you know let's just give up but thankfully um thanks to god and thanks to like being anchored in prayer and having each other as a support system we've been able to go through this horrible season where everything seemed to go wrong so let's get to the story so we went through like a lot of trouble as i was um telling you and finally everything was finally falling into place it's like we were seeing the light at the end of the tunnel right but there was like this one last step it was this medical exam that we had to to do um it was just to see if our blood types were compatible like if you know when we make children if they would not like if they would be normal right um and if there were not any medical condition that would you know make it almost impossible for us to have kids and stuff like that so we went there and you know i am not used to these kind of things it's really in the process of preparing myself for marriage that i learned a lot of things that like you know i didn't know like that you have to do all of this so i really thought that i was just going to a lab and just you know give some blood and then wait for the results but so i just like showed up to the place i was wearing like um like a long sleeve shirt and i was wearing like a short and flats and when we actually got to the place um there was there were um, some people sitting like couples and then there were two ladies working they were like um receiving the couples and then taking their information before sending them to the lab for the exams right and there was this lady and she she just like looked at me right and uh, from her stare like from the way she looked at me i could understand that maybe it was not a good idea to wear short to this specific place but I was, anyways we were already there it was quite far away from my house so i was like well okay let me just like act natural and if i have to come here next time maybe to get the results i will know that i should wear something you know a little bit longer and so we went and we went we, we sat down and then the lady she 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 just yelled like she yelled and she was like you come here right now so I was a little surprised so I just turned around to check if she was maybe talking to someone that was like behind me and she was like no 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 I am talking to you and she was very like very rude very arrogant so I went and she said to come to her so I went to her and she just did that like as if she was going to tell me something in my ears 
but honestly guys i don't know why she did that because she could have just like yelled at me when i was sitting across the room because even when she called me she kept like screaming and everybody could hear her and she was like how dare you come here like dress like that it shows that you have no respect for this place da 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 and then we were just like and you know like i am an entrepreneur so i don't have to dress every morning to go to an office you know unless i have a meeting or something like that but my fiance like he works at the bank so he was like he had his tie and stuff so she was like see how your fiance is all like dressed up and you show up like that like and she kept saying a lot of different things and my fiance like had to step up and say that um you know like we didn't know you don't have to scream like that and i'm only dressed up because i am going to work it's not because we knew that there was a certain way that we had to dress up there there's no sign in front of the door like there's nothing to let us that there was nothing to let us know that you know there was a certain way that we had to dress up for this place so um she just started like screaming at me and shaming me and basically treated me like i was some type of prostitute and she told me to get out and to go put some clothes on and then to come back and then obviously we were very pissed because my fiance was like you know because we went through a lot of things before this particular thing happened so it was like you know the chair and the cake or you know like it was like an explosion because we were like okay nothing's going the way we planned it's like nothing is working out it's like everything is taking so much time and it's like we didn't want like getting married to be like so complicated and stuff but now we understand that it was all part of the process and now everything is fine thank god but it was really hard and we were just like so discouraged like really so what i did is that i did not want to if i went back to my house we would have to come back another day okay and we were already late a little late tied for the paperwork so we really wanted to make this happen as soon as possible um so what i did is that um i didn't have any friends in the area but i have a friend who's now um she, like she left the country and she was not too far from um, that place like her house was not too far from that place so what i did is told my fiance to just wait for me somewhere and i would just drive to my friend's house and see if maybe her her mom was there so i could like borrow one of her jeans unfortunately like no one was there no one was there when i knocked but there was like a neighbor and in the neighbor's house there was this little um there was this cleaning lady and she was like oh the people are not there so maybe you could come back so i was like you know what i'm desperate so i asked the cleaning lady i was like i know you don't know me we don't know each other but can you please lend me a skirt um and i'll come back and maybe an hour max to give it back to you she like looked at me you know she was like this lady just cleaning um cleaning stuff in the house and she saw me in my car so obviously in her mind she's like why would she need a skirt from me but i was like please like you're the only one who can help me right now i desperately need this skirt so after a while talking to her she just landed me the skirt the skirt was too big so i just like rolled the skirt down so it could like fit and then i went back to the place and uh you know I, as i was like driving in the car i really took some time to think i was i was i was really um shocked but you know it's like my brain was a little frozen because i had never been in these kind of situations before so i really didn't know like what to think but i what i did is that um i said god how should i respond to this particular situation and uh, um i really had a peace in my heart and i just felt like i should just pray for this person I was like, wow, okay. So if this is what you want me to do, this is what I'm going to do, okay? And I just started praying for that person and wishing good things for that particular person who had shamed me and kicked me out and treated me like I was some type of prostitute. And I just started wishing her like good things. 
and then I just kept praying and praying while driving and then we got there and I had a headache like I really had a headache because it was just a lot to process you know there were a lot of people in the room and I just got you know shamed in front of everybody and uh, when I got when we actually got there and we were in front of this lady and she was ready to collect our information and she started talking about you know like the meaning of marriage and she also said oh we had a, a mar premarital counseling earlier this morning it's too bad that you were not there and it's like she was say she was saying like little things just to like discreetly say that i don't think that this type of girl like you know can get married and stuff and she started talking about all these rules and society and how you should behave and about love and about god and all these type of things and there was even like some type of gospel music playing in the background and i took some time i started grading and then we said okay so now you you've talked you've shared stuff with us so now can we can we speak and uh she said um sure so I said, you seem to be someone who has a lot of knowledge. You seem to be someone who knows a lot of things about um, society, about life, about how we should behave. You seem very well educated and you seem to have a lot of principle. but I, principles. And, uh, but there's one thing that I think you do not have and that is love and compassion. And I said that when you kick me out of this room, I made a little prayer for you and I prayed that whatever happened to you in your life that has hardened your heart, I prayed that God could heal you. And she, and I said that, and if you know um, the word, you must also know that um, the scripture tells us that even if we have all the knowledge in the world, even if we can be so smart and so spiritual that we can know the knowledge of God, if we do not have love, we have nothing. So none of this means anything if you can't show love and compassion to other people. And I also, <clears throat> oh, and then um, she said, Oh, so you know the Bible like that and you showed up like naked here? <laughs> and I was like, I'm not I'm not asking you to like um, see me as this very spiritual person. I'm just telling you what I know in my heart to be true and what I know uh, in the Bible to be true. So um, can I speak now? So she was very defensive and very aggressive. So my fiance had to like tell her, ask her to like, let me talk and to like you know give us some time so we could talk too because she talked a lot and she didn't let us talk really um and then um when i said that i did a little prayer for her she said that you made a prayer for me because obviously she was like you little prostitute like what do you know about god um and you know um i was really hurt that day after not because of what she said i mean not because i believe what she said you know i know who i am i know that i know my heart for god i know i am not a prostitute i know how much i respect and value my body and you know nothing she had said could like you know like unvalidate that however why i was hurt is because i saw that I saw how much when you have resentment in your heart and hate in your heart how much it can hurt other people and it just showed me the, the reason behind the brokenness in the world it's because like people do not let God heal them and when you let all these angry stuff in your heart you're gonna be mad at the world so and the Bible also tells us that out of the abundance of the heart the words flow so if your heart is not okay if because of past experiences or because of jealousy or whatever else you have um let the devil planted in your heart you know because these things um have the power to like make you someone that is very frustrated you're going to be rude to other people you know these kind of people who are always mad never smiling never having nice things to say so no no wonder there's like war and that people hate each other they're jealous of each other and the world is so um, troubled so um, there's a particular verse that I want um, to read and it's in James um, chapter 2 and it says 
Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold and fine, wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man um, in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and saying, "Here's a good seat for you," but say to the poor man, "You stand there or sit on the floor by my feet." Have you not discriminated among? Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised to those who love him? So I love how James insists on being poor at heart. So those who are poor, poor in the eyes of the world, so poor at heart, those who are humble and that, you know, they are rich and God has chosen these people who are humble, means compassionate, caring about other people, seeing others before they see themselves. Like these people, like if they are rich in faith, you know, God has chosen them because they love God before, before they love their you know, selfish desires, before they, they, they love their pride or their ego. And this is what I think that as a Christian, as Christians, we should focus on is to check our heart and see really do we care about other people do we have compassion because you know that lady had no intention of teaching me anything she just um if she was if her intention were good she could have called me and told me you know there's like a type of um clothes that you should wear for this particular space you know and i, I i'm really sorry but you will need to come back totally understood of course I would have been frustrated but I would have you know understood her point but the thing is that it was not coming from a pure heart her intention was her intentions was just to hurt me to shame me and treat me like it was nothing so when we check at our heart like do we have a tendency to judge people um, because of the way they look you know what they post on social media I'm just giving you examples like what they put on social media um, do they come from a rich family or what are they wearing and no matter what the thing is if we fail to look at people's heart before we judge them it is not from God and you know the, the irony of the story is that the lady who lent me the skirt was just you know a, a maid like just like cleaning at someone's house and imagine if I looked down on her and you know like judge her because she was really poor just like cleaning that house you know what I mean and it's this exact person that helped me in that situation and the one that was educated and I had all the knowledge and the principle she didn't show any compassion and she she was so poor in love and in happiness because she didn't seem happy you know so um, I really encourage you guys to check your hearts and do not take anything personal because when people do things to you and when they hurt you because that day I have been hurt I have been hurt by you know the the frustration and ugliness and hate in that lady's heart you know and it I'm sure she hurt other she hurts other people in her life because she sins very bitter and I'm sure that maybe her husband suffer from this and maybe her children suffer from this I don't know but one thing I know for sure is that she does not seem happy um so it is very important you know to not take things personally and to really like the Holy Spirit had inspired me in that situation to pray for these people you know it we can be really quick to be like oh this is what that person did to me so I'm gonna hate them and I'm not gonna talk to them but really as Christians what we should really do is tell the Holy Spirit to see that situation the way God sees it it's because that person has baggage that they haven't dealt with it's not because of who you are and it doesn't make you any less of a person if someone is mean to you and say you know bad things you know but we really need to show compassion and you know that of course I had a bad day that day and I was really hurt and stuff but then when I got some time to really think about it, I just realized that there's always something to learn in every situation. And what I choose to learn from that is to that, you know, love trumps fear and all hate. Because I responded with love and I was very proud of myself for, you know, obeying the voice of the Holy Spirit and not 
you know, making the situation worse by, you know, putting myself at a lower level just to be like her. But I chose to respond with love. I chose to stay calm and I chose to, you know, remain and, you know, with a Holy Spirit perspective, even when I was hurt and even if the circumstances would normally tell me to just like slap back, snap back and just like, you know, act very ratchet. So um, this is all for today and I just want to remind you that if you have been hurt by someone, just pray for them. If you have hurt someone, please like ask for forgiveness, ask God to forgive you, ask the person that you hurt for forgiveness because we can all use a little bit more love and compassion in this world.